right, Matrix and Roadshow supporters, we're going to talk about Jerry Seinfeld. That's right. The one of the all time goats of comedians, stand up comedians. And yes, he had a really damn good show back in the day. The show that was about nothing. Yes, I enjoyed it. Um, you know, I found out for a lot of people, Jerry Seinfeld's a real take it or leave it kind of show. I'm kind of that way with a lot of shows. The Office, mm, I didn't get into it as much as everybody else did. Um, but nonetheless, and I've seen episodes, and it was funny from time to time, and this, that, and the other. But um, I just didn't, I just didn't jump into it the way a lot of people did. So we've seen everything happen in Hollywood over the last decade, but especially it all got turned up a notch. It got turned up on steroids in the last six or seven years, especially when George Floyd happened. Myself and John Matrix on a live stream both said. You realize everything we love and cherish now in the entertainment world will die. Everything will be about identity politics. Everything will be about wokeness. And everything will turn to shit. In fact, I seem to remember the great Donald J. Trump saying something very similar not to that not too long ago, just a couple of years ago. Donald Trump said this. Was woke? I don't think so. What do you think, Mike? Mike, was he woke? I don't think so. I don't think he was too woke. He was the exact opposite. You know what woke means? It means you're a loser. Everything woke. Everything woke. It's true. Everything woke turns to shit, okay? It's true. It's true. And all you have to do is look across Hollywood, elitist Hollywood, and once again, Donald J. Trump will not steer you incorrect. He will not steer you wrong. Let's just say it is so refreshing slash shocking when we see anybody of any note push back against these woke identity politics. I'm going to keep it real. Racist narratives. Because, I mean, let's be honest, they're trying to push out whites at record speeds. And we've seen that, especially straight white males. You can forget it. They're trying to cancel your ass. Uh, I mean, you're out of there. You're gone. So when somebody like Jerry Seinfeld, and I got to be honest with you, I saw this, my jaw dropped. When Jerry Seinfeld, and we'll look at some reaction from this, came out and shut down this woke beta, what looks like a CBS reporter, when he's asked about race, and his shows, like Seinfeld, having a lot of white people in it. Well, Jerry Seinfeld showed no mercy. No mercy. And it was refreshing. We get this every few months. It's Dave Chappelle. It's Rick, Ricky Gervais. Somebody has some guts. Well, this time it's one of the goats, Seinfeld. I have noticed that most of the guests are mostly white males of 22 episodes. Yeah, that you've let's had. get into that. No, I, <laughs> but but you, you take a look over here, Peter. What do you see? A lot of a lot of whiteies. What's going on here? But but I, oh, this really pisses me off. But well, go no, ahead. No, no, I, I, really <laughs> pisses me off. People think it's it's the census or something. I mean, this has got to <laughs> represent the the actual pie chart of, of of America. Who cares? It's just funny, you know. Funny is the, is the is the world that I live in. You're funny. I'm interested. You're not funny. I'm not interested. Okay. And, and I have no interest in gender or race or anything like that. But everyone else is kind of with their little calculating. Is this the exact right mix? You know, mm -hmm. uh, I, I think that's uh, to me, it's anti comedy. I mean, you just don't hear responses like that very often. And he shut down the left stream narrative right there. I mean, uh, he shut it down. This isn't the census. You sit down as a comedian to do what? Try to make people laugh. And let's just be real. The elephant in the room. You're going to be... Some people are going to be funnier to other cultures, ethnicities. It just is what it is, right? Now, I happen to love Dave Chappelle. He's a black dude. You know, our politics certainly don't align, but I think he's funny as all get out. 
I do. And he's waded into these waters. They've tried to cancel him. I mean, the fact is, you know, nobody is immune to cancellation. And this reporter, well, he's an, he's another beta. I'm sure he's been stripped of his masculinity like all these other woke idiots. And he's caught off guard by Jerry Seinfeld shutting his crap down. So let's just take a look right here at some of the response. And in fact, I think I need to click backwards. Yes, I do. Let me stop that. All right, here we go. Charlie Kirk, good for him. Robbie Starbuck. We have to mock these activist hacks at every turn unless this bullshit stops. J.R. Ewing's making noise. Isn't diversity a polite way of pushing racism based on skin tone? Absolutely right. Absolutely right. DEI needs to die. It's racism. Yes, yes, that's right. Racism towards whites is still racism. No matter how you try to cut it or slice it. Elon Musk, Seinfeld rocks. Let's be honest. If he hadn't bought this platform, uh, we might not even see this video on here. I probably wouldn't have seen it. Pretty amazing. Plot twist. Majority of people aren't interested, but the media makes that tiny voice seem like everyone's interested, in my opinion. It's it's a loud minority. It's a loud minority of, of, of lunatics. Real people, we don't think that way. We don't look at things that way. We don't sit down to watch a good movie and think, damn, I hope this thing is 87% blacks. And the other seven, look, there's there's 13% left. God, I hope it's 10% trans. I mean, wow. I, I hope there's a chick with a dick in this in this flick. I know it's Star Wars, but, you know, who couldn't use an extra saber of two? We don't sit down like that. And watch, we don't consume uh, movies and, and stories that way, or, or comedy that way. Why should Jerry feel bad for hiring people that he feels would be best to do the job? You should hire based on merit and skill, not skin color. I'm almost willing to bet you that uh, Seinfeld hires people he finds funny because, you know, he's a comedian. Just marvelous, Seinfeld still has it. Adding Jerry to my approved list. That's where we are, folks. It is literally, we have to be careful who we consume now. Young progressives have been trained to obsess over race, making them the most racist cohort since the KKK. Absolutely. Absolutely. Who's the doy boy asking questions? Somebody that I saw got very nervous sipping a beverage as Jerry was answering that question. There's a good chance he's got a large soy intake in his diet. That's my guess. This is exactly why Jerry quit doing college campuses years ago. Most comedians have. Because they'll get attacked doing these shows, physically, sometimes. Jerry calling out racism. This is the way. Laugh and scoff at them. They so richly deserve it. What they also don't deserve is your money. Jerry's right on target. I still enjoy a Seinfeld episode each night before bed. It's for the comedy. Quote, I hate reporters. Yeah. Yeah, that's why channels like Black and White Sports has two channels now, getting almost 5 million views. Black and White Network has exploded. It's because people don't trust journalists, reporters. Dana White said they're literally worthless as tits on a boar hawk. I don't think he literally put it that way, but I put it in my, my own redneck kind of spin. I, too, like an, a good old-fashioned episode of Seinfeld every now and again. I don't watch it as religiously as I used to. I used to watch, you know, they used to rerun. Maybe they still do on TBS, TNN, uh, TNT, I guess. Uh, I used to catch them pretty regularly on those channels. Seinfeld's right. And it's good to see somebody come out and say it. 
and just put it out there. I think our biggest weapon outside of Trump against this kind of bullshit is comedians, right? Comedians always did offend and it was supposed to be okay to offend. But now they're just saying a lot of common sense stuff and the common sense stuff has been, has been deemed offensive. Well, I'm offended by that. Tell me what you think, Black uh, Matrix and Roadshow fans. I did it. I almost did it right there. Peace. I'm out. Till next time.